Hello everyone, Tina here. I'm back again to share another holiday project with you. This is for Paper Tray Ink and we are creating with the Build a Stocking die set. All things Christmas you can stuff with the stocking. So cute. We'll be making this. And then I'm going to create a background using the Metal Border Bling Skinny Rick Rack die set. And then for my background, we're going to be using the North Pole Mail Candy Cane Frame Postcard. We're going to use the largest one in the set, and we're also going to be using the middle one, too. And we're going to be bringing in a tag from the Tag It Minis stamp set. This has been around for a little while, but I think we're going to add a little tag. Since there's no greeting in the, in the die set, I think this will make a cute little greeting for our card. So let's start by doing our die cutting. I kind of have a color palette here. I have two reds. This is Scarlet Jewel and this is Pure Poppy. The pink is um, Pale Peony and then I have two shades of green. I have Simply Chartreuse here and then this is Spring Moss. So I'll be cutting out some of my elements and when I'm finished I'll be right back. Once I have everything die cut we're going to start by doing or layering. First we'll layer our candy cane and I love that it's just two pieces so I'm just going to add glue behind the larger stripe pieces and then we can just tack these both together. Can't get easier than creating a candy cane that way. With my Simply Chartreuse cardstock I'm going to bring in some of my new leaf ink and my blending brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of color to these two. I'm just going to go on the leaves here. We're going to be stuffing our stocking pretty well so you probably won't be able to see some of it but at least on the tree I'm going to go on one side just to add a little bit of shading here. I'm also going to add a little shading to this one too and that's all there is to that. I did cut out a star for my tree so we'll adhere that with just a dot of glue and then I'm going to add some glue to my berries here on my greenery. I'm just going to add my star at the top of my tree. And then as far as the berries go, um, I wanted white behind the tops of my berries just to make them stand out and I did that with two of them. To do that, I just die cut out an extra set and I didn't take out the middle. You could take out the, the middle piece if you wanted to. But all I'm going to do is layer on the opposite end. So we have a little bit of that white peeking out. And then you just layer those together and those berries are good to go. To create my envelope, I am going to bring in a small foam square. I'll just tack one right here and then we can add our top layer. And then I'm going to bring in a gray marker. I'm using my Copic marker. This is a C2 and I'm just going to add a little shading. Like that. And then I will blend it out with my colorless blender. and our envelope is good to go. I'm going to use my black marker and go over these two pieces for my snowman. Um, these are buttons for the snowman or they could be eyes for the snowman. We're going to use them as buttons and I'm also going to bring in an orange and color in that carrot nose there. We're going to build our snowman. First we'll add the little hat to the top. I mean how cute is this little hat? So cute. Wonderful. And then I'll add a little dot of glue where the nose goes and then two where I'm going to put the buttons. I just punched these out. We'll go ahead and add these. And our carrot nose. 
There is pierced detail on the snowman for the eyes and the mouth, but just to enhance that, I'm going to bring in my black marker. And I'm going to just add extra dots to the existing dots, just so he stands out a little bit more. I almost forgot our snowman's arms, so I'm just going to use a brown marker and color those in and we'll punch these out. And then we can add our snowman's branches. <laughs> I'll just add a dot of glue here and here. Now all that's left to do is our stocking. So I'm going to add some glue behind our stocking pieces. This one goes here at the very tip. And this one here, the more narrow, goes towards the heel. And for and then for this piece, I'm going to add a foam square. I put this foam square right here in the middle because we're going to be tucking in here. And so I think one will work out great. Speaking of tucking, now we have all of our elements that we're going to tuck our stocking with. Let's start off with our envelope or our card. And then we'll add our candy cane. So cute. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of greenery here. And I'm just going to tuck it behind my envelope. We will add our tree. I think that's stuffed pretty good. Then I'm going to take my holly and I'm going to add this to this side here. I'm not worried about the end being exposed because that's where our little tag will come in. Okay, let's bring in our stamp set. Now I went ahead and die cut out my tag using the coordinating die with white cardstock. We're going to decorate this just a little bit. So first what we're going to do is take these diagonal stripes. I think those look like candy canes. So I'm going to take this and just using my pure poppy ink, we're going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp the bottom of my tag here. Wonderful. Next there is a green leaf flourish in our stamp set. I'm going to take this and then using my new leaf, I'm just going to take one end and I'm going to stamp a little greenery on here. I think that looks great. And now we're going to add a little greeting and I thought made for you would go perfect. For my card today. So with made for where I'm going to take made for you and I'm just going to stamp it next to my greenery. And we have a cute little holiday tag. I think I'm going to add a little bit of my Simply Chartreuse ink to that greenery and just go over it. I'm thinking maybe it'll match a little bit better. I think that worked out a little bit better. Okay, I have some twine and I'm going to tie a bow through my tag and I'm going to tack it down to my stocking. And there is our stocking. We're going to put this to the side and work on our background next. I have two pieces of cardstock. I have spring moss and I have pure poppy. I'm going to take my candy cane frame postcard die set and take the middle one, die cut this out with my spring moss 
And for my largest, we're going to do something a little bit special. I have some of my paper tray ink, fresh snow ink. Now I'm going to, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll see it together. Since we have raised areas on our die that create a debossed area, I thought we could add some ink to the edges here. Just make sure it's fully covered. Okay, and then I'm going to take my die carefully, hold it on the edges. I'm going to line it up away from that pile of ink and we'll tack this down, tape it, and then I will run both of these through my die cut machine. And then while we're at it, I'm also going to take my skinny rick rack, the middle one, and using some white cardstock, we are going to run a panel through the die cut machine. And I love that you can add the stripes that way to your panels. So cool. I'm going to layer all three of these together. And then I'm just going to use some alcohol and I'm going to clean off my dye hair. The ink comes up really well with alcohol and it doesn't hurt your dye whatsoever. I went ahead and placed foam tape behind my stocking. We're going to flip it around and we're going to add this to the center of our card. And now we're going to add some bells and whistles. I'm going to bring in some gems and we're going to add some sparkle to the Christmas tree. And then I'm also going to bring in my glossy accents. I'm going to go over my berries and my snowman's nose. And that will finish off my card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely rest of your week and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.